guys, welcome to the video, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Optifine in Minecraft Computer Edition. Now, basically, Optifine is pretty, it's its completely free. It is literally free. And, um, my favorite features, uh, are definitely the zoom, and you can adjust which button you have to press to zoom in. But you can zoom in on basically anything. It's pretty cool. Um, and then the other thing, it definitely is the Optifine cape that you can get. So, usually, you can only get capes if Mojang specifically gives them to you, or if you get them from Minecon. So, unless you have, like, mods or something like that. But, now, with this Optifine cape, you can pay $10, and I know it do does cost money, but it is a donation to Optifine, and Optifine is completely free, so, in a way, it's like, okay, well, it's free, so why don't we just donate $10 to them, and then you get this awesome cape, you can customize it however you want, you can actually change it, so you can make it, like, a cooler cape, it doesn't even have to be the Optifine logo on it, if you do not want it to be, and uh, only other people who have Optifine can see it, but it is like a very, Optifine's like very big now, and I feel like a lot of people have it, so it's definitely worth it if you've always wanted a cape. So let's get on with the video. So now what you're going to do first is you're going to go to Optifine.net. I will leave the link in the description in case you can't find it for some reason, but it's pretty easy. It's just Optifine.net. So anyways, uh, once you're here, just so you know, um, if you do want to get a cape, you don't actually click cape, you, get, you hit donate, and then that's what you get for donating. Uh, it's not like, it's not as much buying the cape, it's like donating and then you get the cape. So, um, that's what you want to hit if you want the cape. Anyways, so what you're going to hit um, is downloads, because the home, you're going to go to the homepage originally, but you want to hit downloads once you get on to Optifine.net. And you're going to get it for whatever version you want. So you can show all versions, and you can get it for literally any version, out down like going down to 1.7.2, which is pretty far back. But anyways, um, I would recommend just getting it in the latest version, so obviously 1.16.3, I would recommend that. Uh, I'm going to get it in 1.8.9, because that's the best way for PvP, so it's going to be like my Bed Wars one. So basically what you're going to hit, obviously you just hit download. Oh, there we go. There we go. So just hit download, and do not click anything on this page. Okay, you see this thing? It says, please wait a number of seconds, you know, and just wait for that to, uh, you know, get off the screen. Then hit skip. And then it will bring you to here, and now you're just going to hit download again. And once you download it, it's going to be in your downloads. Now, if you're on Chrome, it's going to pop up at the bottom. If you're on Safari, it's going to pop up over here. So just drag that on to your desktop. Okay, so once it's on your desktop, you're just going to go ahead and left-click it twice. And it will say it cannot be opened because it's from an identified developer. Now, on Chrome, there is a different way you can do this. Um, so you're going to have to just... Simply look up a video. So what you're going to do, you're just going to hit OK for now. And you're going to go up to the top left corner of your computer. I'm not showing mine, but you're just going to hit that Apple logo. And then you're going to hit System Preferences. OK, so now you're going to go to over here, Security and Privacy. Click on that and go to General. Make sure you're in, you're, you're in General, not Fire Vault, Firewall, Privacy, no, none of that. Just go to General. And as you can see, down here it says Optifine is blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer. You're just going to hit Open anyways. And then when it asks you, just say Open. You have this, right? So what you're going to do, just don't hit anything on this page. Basically, you, you don't even have to hit anything. Basically, just hit Install. That's, the, that's what you're going to do. Okay, and then it says Optifine is successfully installed. That is awesome because that it's super simple. You just have to go to their website and you just simply download it. Um, we're like as mods are more difficult. So now we're just going to open up our Minecraft. Okay, and then you're going to go into here and it automatically, it automatically knows. And I actually, I, I have uh, Optifine 1.16.3. But it will pop up like this, and you can actually, uh, you can go into installations, and if you hit new, uh, it will give you the option, it will say Optifine. So if you have something like where it's not popping up, or you accidentally like delete the version thing, and you just want or the installation or whatever, and you want to just reopen it, just go ahead and go back, create a new, um, hit new, and then you can just choose which Optifine you want. And you can, that's why mine um, is a cake instead of the Optifine logo, and you actually, you can have multiple Optifine versions, but it's not gonna, they're not gonna both have that Optifine logo on it, so I had to change that, because, you know, I already had the 1.8.9. And then, um, you can just, I would save this, so maybe put it in, like, a folder, uh, that doesn't get deleted or something, and so let's just go into Minecraft, and the cool thing about Mine, or Optifine is you can also get shaders, so that's really cool, shaders are 
awesome. They are a little glitchy, but they're pretty cool. So if you want shaders, um, I'm going to make another video on how to get texture packs and possibly shaders uh, in Minecraft. Um, so if you want shaders, you can also just look up how to get shaders. And shaders are really cool. They basically make Minecraft look more realistic. Um, and yeah, so okay. Now it says it's going to have this little... Um, I don't really know what this is this is called, um, but this thing, and you just you can just go into anything. Uh, let's just go into high pixel real quick. If it loads, yes. And so basically now, once we're in, obviously I already have Optifine and everything. You know, I already have it, and this is the one point sixteen version. But like I said, uh, if you go into options and you hit controls, you scroll down until you see where is it. Uh, zoom and then you can change whatever you can it's I think it's originally set to C but you can change it to whatever you want it really does not matter I have mine set on R so it's right by my hand uh, where my hand is so I can just zoom like that and yeah so that's pretty cool it's pretty easy um, and that is pretty much it Thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you now have Optifine and Optifine is really cool so and it's actually free and it's easy to do so I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and like the video. And uh, comment down below if you have any uh, other things you need help with in Minecraft or something like that that I can maybe do a video on if I haven't already. Go check out my merch at teespring.com slash store slash 19 and I will see you in the next one. Bye!